subscribe to a Kennedy Man show. Do it! Just do it! Coming to you from Industry Sound Studio, Modesto, California. It's the McHenry Man Show. I'm Chris Mitchell here with Wayne McHenry Cruiser and Margaret B. How's what it going? What up, everyone? Hello. How's hey. it going? I'm good, good, good. Good. Everyone had a good Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, New Year's. Uneventful. Uneventful? Yeah. For you? Or for me? For anybody. I, I slept. I wanted to see the... I wanted to go to... Because uh, I was in New York. I wanted to go see the ball drop. Oh, that's but they had that. they had that place held down like a fucking fortress. There was like cops with guns, SWAT, everything, and they my grandparents, <clears throat> my my grandparents were telling me that there's these hotels that are like really huge, but they're pricey uh, during that time, and they were they're uh, I don't want to say renting or doing rooms or whatever for a thou between a thousand to three thousand a night just for that week of Christmas and New Year's, I'm and sure. people were paying and people were reserving rooms ahead of time like years in advance for those rooms and i'm like dude that's fucking nuts dude i could not just stay there for a whole week or just for a day just to pay a grand or three thousand dollars just for a 20 second ball drop or 10 second if you ball had drop. the money the experience would be worth everything just for that one yeah but just, <laughs> i don't know i don't know if i want to spend a thousand to three thousand dollars on a room to watch it from a room or would i rather spend a grand and just fucking stay out there and be a part of the crowd. Do they have a balcony? <clears throat> uh, no, it's just for window. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm like, no, fuck that. And um, there was people out there that were, I guess, from what I was reading, was 6 in the morning. They were out there for hours, like 12 hours, 13 hours, 14 hours, just to watch the ball. So out. where were you? I was not fucking there. I'll tell you that right now. Because my grandma's like, are you going to go? I was like, fuck that. You don't watch it from the damn TV. You dude. did not tell your grandma that. No <laughs> lie. No, my, I curse. I curse at my grandfather. <coughs> my grandfather curses too. Yeah, but you know that's he, your no. grandfather. She's yeah, going to slap you. Okay, so, so let, me, let me tell you when I got there. So I arrive at JFK. It's like 12, I think it was like about 12.20 a.m. Christmas morning. My grandfather didn't know I was coming by home. My grandma was coming, right? So I get to this pl I get to their, their, their place, and she's like, come on, let me go wake up your grandfather. She knew I was coming. She waited up for me. She's a sweetheart. And then and I'm in there. Her, put an ass. And then no, I don't curse. I don't curse at her. I curse with her. Anyway, so <laughs> so he comes out, and I have my jacket off and everything, and I just have a shirt. And he goes, he sees me, and he's not really doing too well. He didn't know who I was at first. Mm. And he gets closer, and he sees me. And he goes, he goes Dante, and I was like, yeah. I was like, I was like. Merry Christmas, like, you know, uh, surprise, right, right? No, I wasn't fucking right on. The first words out of his mouth was, the fuck's all that shit on your arms? What are you doing with the tattoos? And I was like, oh, here we go. Dante, what have I told you? You shouldn't be having this. This is, this is not okay. And I'm like, oh, here we fucking go, dude. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, and that's what I get, dude. <clears throat> shit from Grandpa, but it was fucking... They have cover up. You should Bought some shit. Well, no. Cover that shit up. No, dude, I'm not filming a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, yeah, he'll he'll curse and say stuff, and it's a, he cracks me up though. He has his moments, but yeah, most people get to do that. Yeah, but it's hilarious. I didn't know you, you know you had tattoos. I mean, you're always in coats. So, I mean, oh yeah, off. yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I How come to... you didn't just wear like long sleeve stuff? Why? Because I was hot. And they had the heater on. And I had two jackets on. It was 22 degrees when I got there. So when I got into their apartment, because they live in the projects. So when I got there, they have like a, a <clears throat> basically it's like when the heater goes on, it goes on for everybody. When it goes off, it goes off mean? for everybody. So they have an internal furnace underneath. So when it goes on, it goes through this, these vents. And wow. these vents lead into these built-in, um, they kind of look like those old-school heaters, you know, like, it looks like rods or whatever. Yeah. But it's kind of built into the wall with vents. <clears throat> so everybody, so everybody gets it at the same time, and it like shuts off at the same time. Huh? So, so that's how so it works. So who controls it? It's on a timer in the, in the furnace room. Yeah, I asked them, I was like, how do you guys control it? Who yeah. controls it then? The maintenance people, or the landlord, whoever, whoever runs the... 
the buildings. So they can literally have you freeze. One time they said that <laughs> no, they my parent my grandparents told me that for a week the furnace was off because um <clears throat> something happened and they had to put in a brand new one. Holy shit. Yeah, so they were out for like for I think said about a week and they bought like um the portable heaters just for the just for the weeks. Yeah. That's a trip out there. You're quite surprised. And was it snowing? No, it wasn't snowing. It did rain, but it was an ugly rain that I've never been a part of. Um, you know how it? You know how sometimes it mists or it like sprinkles out here, but it's different though. Just imagine, imagine when it showers, but it's misty sprinkle, but it comes fucking down. And I was already, I was out, I was out with my grandma. We went to the post office. And by the time we got back, my shirt and shoes and most of my pants were soaked. But it wasn't raining hard. Oh, I understand. Yeah, and it was just kind of like weird. So what is rent out there? Do they live in a controlled rent? They, um, they inherited a condo. Wow. It's from uh, my great grandmother who passed. And so they only pay, they only pay, um, well, their rent just went up six, but before that, they were paying three. Hundred? Mm-hmm. Wow. For one bedroom. But all that, well, it's not really rent. Um, like, it's already been paid off. Right. So, but what they're paying is the building to keep everything in check for the employees, the maintenance, um, the repainting of the building, brand new stuff. So, it's basically like helping, it's like community pool, but it's build, rebuilding the, the buildings. Which is pretty cool. I thought it was really different, and um, they ticket you if you don't um, if you don't uh, separate your garbage. <laughs> it's not even a joke. Like my grandpa said, you got two tickets. Um, <laughs> <laughs> someone, I guess, someone got kicked out because they were playing the drums. They have zero tolerance for like loud noise. And this guy that was next door, I told my grandpa, like, dude, you gotta say something because this is not fair. And he's like, I'm not a snitch. <laughs> I'm not going to go snitch him out. I was like, why? And then he told me a story about how he was drilling and sawing at fucking 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, what, what? were you doing at night? He's, he was building a cabinet. And, and like, there's no room. It's already, he, it's already like, I don't want to say claustrophobic, but small enough. He uses anything as a saw table. He used the sink when I was there for a saw table. So it can collect all the dust, and he just scoops it out. I'm like, whatever, you know, very well, innovative. That's smart. But yeah, the guy, I guess the guy complained, and he put a note on the elevator door. Well, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, I'm, well, I get that, but uh, I'm your grandson, and I'm sleeping out in the in the thing, and I can hear what movie he's playing because the TV and the surround sound is against the wall, and I'm against the wall. So I'm like sitting there listening, like, oh, dude. This guy's watching the eight. So you're in the neighbor's like, house you know, without eating any kind of even, snacks yeah, or shit. I'm huh? not. I'm there, not being there. Yeah, you're there, so but not invited. Huh? <laughs> fucking suck. And the, the next, next door neighbors, uh, they're from, uh, I think it was New Guinea, and they're like straight up like really cool, but their accent's very thick. Uh, so let me ask you: Have your grandparents lived there long, or? Uh, now we used to live on 128th and 3rd Avenue and that's projects. That's ghetto, like real ghetto. Like, uh, I, 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 it doesn't escape my mind when I, I want to tell you, you get in the elevator, smells like piss and shit. There's spray paint all over. One time I went with my mom when I was small and there was a homeless dude passed out with just she completely passed out, pissed himself, smelled bad. Um, <clears throat> there was there would be people in the projects. I don't know how they would get up to the room, but they would bring their motorcycles up there and they would rev it. And it was just like nuts. It, it, it seriously it was that like that bad. Why don't you tell us about the Haitian lady? Oh, okay. So I told Chris earlier about this. So, so when I was there, we were gonna go. So the beginning of that story was we were gonna go to. Uh, this place where it's basically like a, a train museum. Uh -huh. and my grandfather has like a thing about trains. And I was like, dude, I haven't been there since, you know, I was a kid. I'm like, yeah, let's go. But it was so expensive. So we took the bus there. But we, we wound up taking the bus back. While we're waiting for the bus, <clears throat> I have my headphones on. There's a couple other people there, my grandparents. And all I hear, uh, there's a bus that comes, but it wasn't our bus. And there's this lady. All I hear is... 
stop the bus and I kind of like look over and then I kind of look back at the bus and the bus just leaves. And I look back at her again and then she just goes off. And she she has this real thick Haitian accent and she's going she's she's going to town on words. I don't know what she was saying. She was, she was going. She, she was looking directly at me, but the creepy <laughs> part. This is the creepy part. It's dark, and she has like this like uh, basket, um, and she's pushing it. But as she's as she's yelling, she's pushing it towards me, like like walking directly to me, and she's looking at me, just yelling, going off, going off, and I'm like, oh my god. And my grandma's like, don't don't pay attention to her. Look away. And I'm just like, how can I, dude? You're you gonna like, get the curse no, in the eyes. But, but, no, but I'm like, I'm like looking at my grandmother, like, dude, do you not see her coming towards me? Like, I'm trying to be like, dude, do I get ready? Do I knock her out? Like, dude, what the fuck? You can't fight the curse. So, <laughs> so then we get on the bus. <laughs> Excuse me. So we get on the bus. The bus that you know, the lady, the, the lady that uh, the lady gets on the bus. We're there. And my so on my peripheral, I kind of like look, and she's just mad dogging me, like it was my fault. It like, was your fault. Like, you didn't stop the but bus. there was there were six other people there <laughs> besides me, and I'm getting the shit for it. Then she starts going off on the bus, and I'm like looking at my grandma, and she's she's, she's no, like just don't do it, don't say anything, because I wanted to, but I was like, no, I'm just gonna you let her be. The curse. She gets off the bus way before we do, right? So I go up, uh, we get off, I go up to the house for a little bit, and I told my grandparents, hey, I'm going to walk to Carvel. Carvel is about a 25-minute walk from where they're at, okay? Now, I don't, I don't want to take a bus. I don't like taking Which the train. Carvel? Carvel? Carvel is, like, better than Baskin and Robbins. It's, in, it's like East it. Coast. It's East Coast. Softest fucking ice cream you can mm-hmm. get, dude. Really good milkshakes. I was like, dude, I'm going. How long did it take you to get there? 25 minutes. 25 minute walk. Walking? Yeah. And, um, it's safe to walk? It's n- not safe to walk, but I do it anyways because you can miss a lot. And no, I'm serious. You can get <laughs> shot too. <laughs> no, 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 no. And, and the neighborhood we were at, the neighborhood we were at was fine. It's Park, it's, uh, Park Chester. It, it's, it's not, I want to say it's not bad, but it's kind of like that 50 50, but a 128 and 3rd Avenue. Is not the place I would tell you to go walk out at night. I'm saying when the light, when the when the sun goes down, you, you fucking better, stay in your house, it don't dude. Matter. You stay in your house. It not is, every part, not every part of New York. Well, don't know what time it is. No. So <laughs> I went out there. So I walked. So yeah, I walked. Uh, so I was walking down. <laughs> I'm walking. I have my headphones on. I'm just enjoying the scene, the night scenery. There's a bunch of people out. There's dudes. There's literally like dudes with boom boxes chilling. Like seriously dancing and stuff like that, and people like it's like it's it, I don't know. There's like a lot to see. It's kind of like San Francisco, but it's a whole fucking state dude, instead of city. So you like I like to see everything. And as I'm walking down, there's a bakery and a bank that's like combined. So <laughs> so it's a Chase Bank and this bakery, right? It's on my right, and as I'm coming up to the corner, as I have to cross to go left, as I'm crossing. Uh, fate, coincidence, as you want to fucking call it, she pops around the corner and s- immediately sees me and starts cursing. I, I jump back and I was like, oh, fuck, hella loud. And just like, oh, shit. And she starts talking about the bus again, starts yelling at me about the bus because all I heard was bus and whatever she was saying and bus and whatever she was saying. And I'm just like, I just kept walking. I was like, fuck that. I like, walked away. And as I was getting closer to Carvel, there's a Dunkin' Donuts. It's a 31. A lot of the um, Dunkin' and 31 flavor or Baskin Robbins, they're like together. So it's just one store, but it's just called Dunkin'. And as I was walking by, there's a homeless dude on the floor just laying there like this. And two employees are trying to get him up, but he won't get up. And I kind of looked, and she's like, oh, sorry, we're closed. And I'm like, I wasn't even fucking going in here anyways. Like, you know, I'm going to fucking Carvel. So I go to Carvel. I get myself an Oreo shake, dude. It's, like, amazing. <laughs> it's, I don't know what it is about it, but it, it's fucking good. And I come out, and as I come out of Carvel, because it's not far apart from how they are. There's probably, like, maybe a, a minute walking distance from each place. There's cops and ambulance over at the Dunkin' Donuts, and I pass by, there's an employee and the homeless dude, they're both bleeding. 
what the hell? Yeah, dude, they got into a fight. So I was like, fuck, dude. I'm like, damn, I'm so glad I walked all the way over here. Shit, dude, this is awesome. Well, but yeah, that's why I like doing all this stuff. There's uh, there's guys with peanuts, the roasted peanuts, roasted cashews, roasted pistachios out there. Up. There's vendors out in the middle of the night. There's hot dog vendors. Um, there's like some Greek vendors too out in Times Square. And I got a, uh, a Euro made and a lamb Euro and it was fucking amazing. Okay. And uh, um, even though it's $4 for these little dinky hot dogs, because they're called dirty water dogs, I don't know what it is about it, but it's the, <laughs> fucking, but it's the fucking best <laughs> hot dog you can fucking put, it, like seriously, like you can eat out there. Everything was expensive in Times Square, too. Like everything was expensive. Uh, but it was, it, it was a really good uh, experience. And, and um, if, you, if you ever go to Times Square, and if you actually just stop um, I'm serious. If you just stop and you just close your eyes and you can listen, you can hear multiple different languages going on because there's so many people from around the world just kicking it there. And it's a trip. It's like basically like the, sp- like the one spot where a lot of people from around the world come and everyone is just enjoying their time. There's no bullshit. And it's like it's a, it's a trip. Like if you ever go out there, just just do it. Nobody cares what the fuck you do out there either. <laughs> you know, there's people that are like smoking weed, just chilling, doing other things. Um, they had uh, they had a guy in this badass Batman suit. It was really fucking cool, but I was not paying twenty dollars to take a picture with him. Uh, another guy, <laughs> uh, another guy. I was oh, watching this. I didn't know. I didn't know what was going on. Oh no, there's people that hang out with these guys. <laughs> if you try to take a picture from a distance. They'll like do this, uh-uh. like try to block you because that's not that that's not fair. And I understand. That's why I didn't want to do that. Take a picture of you know the suit. You know these people worked hard on their suits because a lot of their suits were really cool. And there's a dude with a bumblebee suit, and I was watching him put it on. It made him taller because he had like the the he built in like these stilts and stuff to put on, and the lights came up and he had like these flaps that opened up and he put like it was really fucking cool. I was like, dude, like. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. And then there's this other guy, who was really like a tall, maybe six five, <clears throat> six five. Uh, painted himself green, like old school uh, Lou Ferrigno Hulk. Did himself like that, and he was taking pictures, and it was like thirty five degrees. And this dude's walking around with how no much, shirt on. How much was he charging you for? They're all they're all like a group. They're all charging twenty bucks a pop. A picture, and this is Times Square. Tell him you should tell him he's charging fifteen to take a picture with you. Fuck me, <laughs> I didn't want it. I mean, I wanted to, but I'm like, dude, I don't want to fucking do this. How they have like doing? Elmo and fucking uh, Cookie Monsters out there, Pikachu's, and, P- and all the kids were doing. The parents were doing it with the kids, but I was like really being debative about the Batman. I was like, dude, this suit is fucking phenomenal. No, fuck that. I'm not taking a picture for twenty bucks, dude. And then I can. And then when I left, and when I left, I was like, what am I talking about, dude? I, I paid twenty five dollars in L A to take pictures with Hugh Jackman and uh, Hugh Jackman's uh, stunt double and what's his name stunt double from uh, dude, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, ones? Johnny Depp. Not even the real one. Johnny, yeah, there were the stunt doubles <laughs> for the movies, and I was like, <laughs> "Fuck," you know. But it's a trip, <clears throat> and you got to take trains down there too, which is cool. It's 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 way different than taking Bart. I'll tell you that right now. It's way different than taking So whatever back. happened to that lady? Did she give you the curse or what? No, I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad happened to me or anything like that. And what about, uh, you said you made a, a plane trip? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I made also a plane trip. Uh, went and saw a friend of mine uh, I've never met before. Or we played games. Uh, we've known each other for like two or three years. Male or female? Female. Yeah, I went to Memphis, Tennessee. So Did how'd that go? It was bullshit. It was complete bullshit. That place, I was like, dude, this place is so fucking depressing. Their fucking paved roads look like look like they're trying to become dirt roads because they're brown. Hmm? Yeah, they have paved roads that are brown. I think it's because of the salt in the, in the, in the, um, in the snow. But lately, they've been getting ice roads. So there hasn't been snow. But the roads get real icy. So it's like, I think that's what it has to deal with. Because uh, salt, like uh, when it snows a lot... <clears throat> The whatever's in the snow, I think, from what I understand, it could be the salt. I'm not sure. But, um, oh, yeah, I just put it right there, dude. <laughs> but, um, 
So you didn't like the either. place because of the roads? No, no, no. It was really depressing. Why? Because it was dark. No place was super dark. It was dark. It was always raining. It was like... It just, it, it's just you didn't depressing. go there for the weather. You went there for your friend. No, I know. That was fine. I'm just saying, like, the place in general just sucked. I was like, geez, no wonder you want to leave this place. Everybody wants to leave their place. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. How, mm. So, and I tried Chick-fil-A for the first time. How was it? I'll tell you. I had, like, their spicy chicken sandwich. And I was like, oh, my God. It's not fucking, like, over. It's not that kind of fried I was expecting like a fried chicken but like something you get at like a McDonald's or some shit but when I ate it I was like oh my god someone out back there fucking barbecuing this shit back there because it was like super moist super yeah, juicy, juicy. Yeah. the skin yeah. came off but it was still it was like it was like it was still crunchy but crunchy enough to enjoy and not too crunchy to where you're like eating cornflakes and I was like, oh, my God, this is fucking amazing. But if the spice was, like, perfect because it hits you, and then it kind of just, like, gently leaves. I've made chicken strips using cornflakes. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> no, I, I would use cornflakes as a reference because, like, some no, of them sa- taste you like know that. I real really hardcore use, There's a crunchy. recipe that I've used where I take chicken strips and I dip them in egg and flour. And my mom does it with Frosted Flakes. Dip it in egg, and then you dip it in the Frosted Flakes. But it even tastes good. No, I... I yeah, uh, with some cayenne pepper, analogy. actually. That's a bad analogy, bro. Because there's been I'm times just where I know, but there's been times where I've had like a like a like a clubhouse sandwich for whatever it's called at fucking McDonald's, like you know, chicken patty, and you chew it and it's super crunchy, and then you're like, dude, this is like, well, this, yeah, that's why I'm saying like it's crunchy, like like a lot like that, but that was really really interesting, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta go back again. I can't. I'll never have to. I'll, I'll never go. Yeah, she was like, well, you know, like, these are evil bigots that you're supporting. And I was like, I know, but the chicken tastes so good. But the chicken tastes so good. <laughs> and I was telling her the story about uh, about what Bobby and I were talking about, how those guys, uh, that was it, the employee got stabbed or someone got shot for a sandwich at Chick-fil-A. Where? Oh, my God. Yeah, and she's like, are you serious? At Chick-fil-A? I thought it was at... Popeyes. Oh, Popeyes. That's Popeyes. what it was. Popeyes, yeah. Yeah, that was like a presidential candidate. The black guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. doctor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stabbed somebody? Supposedly, he said he did. Yeah. Go for a chicken sandwich. Have you had one of them sandwiches? At uh, Popeyes? No. Have you? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, actually, not a uh, chicken sandwich, but I've had Popeyes. Just not the sandwich. We all have Popeyes, but have you had their to die for <laughs> no. chicken sandwich? No, just the uh, Chick Fil A so far. How about you? I've never tried it, um, you know, because I don't. I, I guess I take the bus to get there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it that bad. But once my car gets uh, returned to me, uh, once it's done at the garage, getting fixed, I plan definitely on getting one. So try it out. So what did everybody do for uh, New Year's? I did nothing. <clears throat> I uh, was in my. I think I was in my room just watching YouTube. I think. Like always, like always do. Usually my thing is like playing video games on New Year's. Because it's like you've been through it so long, so much, and you're just like, oh, yeah, another year. Like, you know, there's nothing nothing cool about it. It's like another year with no flying cars and jetpacks. Fuck it, you know. I'm just worried about my own life right now. So, <laughs> so did you do anything? No, I actually, um, we stayed in. Fell asleep. My wife wanted to do something this year, so we went out to Crocodile's nightclub. Yes, how was that? It was fun. Posted a video of it, yeah, actually. I seen him making out uh, with tongue. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Did you? <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Like soft core porn. This guy. Yeah. I'm going to have to check it out because no, I didn't see it. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. I've been to Crocodile's before. I like that. Well, God, you know there. what? I don't know. It's been it's fun. since it's a, 19. It's a good place to go people watching. Really? I like watch people. So is Walmart. Only D&D. <laughs> Only when I'm DD, I'm all like, oh, yeah. It's like, what's going on? But, yeah, Walmart now, dude. When you walk, That's the only place where you can go <clears throat> and not give a fuck what you look like when you get out of bed. And go uh, there. You know what? You should do that. It does. I swear. That's mm-hmm. the only place I can feel comfortable and not giving a shit how I look. <laughs> so, uh, Cruiser, what's this uh, controversy you've been stirring up over oh, the past oh, week? Well, 
I mean, there's this uh, YouTube content creator. It's got a couple of million uh, subscribers on. Uh, I mean, this guy's got like ten channels. I, I, I don't know, but uh, he's got a couple of million subs on each one. He's very popular. Everybody's talking about him. Uh, Onision's his name, and uh, they're calling him things like a child groomer and uh, mm -hmm. uh, molester and various other things because because they're saying he, he's had intercourse with uh, teenage girls. That's what they're saying. Him and his uh, his wife, who became a man. What? So, yeah, yeah, transgendered, uh, she was a female, started off that way, and then during the course of their marriage, she has been now become a man, and uh, they're also accusing uh, her, uh, uh, whom became a him, uh, uh, as being a child groomer. That's what they're saying, because oh, nice. they moved in a 15-year-old uh, girl uh, there and uh, in, into the relationship, and then once she became 18, uh, he slept with her, Onision did, according to them, and then kicked her out and dumped her, and yeah. Oh so, I mean, God. so the, uh, and, and they're saying he's done this with various uh, teenage girls and whatnot. And I've come to his defense because he is a good moral human being, and I do not believe these atrocious lies. And uh, yes, I, and I'm the only one. Nobody else is defending this guy <laughs> but me. And so, yeah, I'm combating the haters now. And yes, uh, it's a solo mission. I'm a one man army. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm combating all the. I mean, I've, I've, I'm right now. I'm making reaction because a lot of people make reaction videos to his videos. So mm -hmm. like they're screen recording his video and then talking over it and giving their opinion about this guy. And so I screen record them doing this to him, and then I do it to them. So I'm I'm giving a reaction to their reaction of him, and so that's my way of of assassinating each each one of these people that do this. That's what I'm doing. So and I'm going to keep doing it until they uh, cease and desist, besmirching the name of the legend, the icon, uh, who carried this platform of YouTube on his back for a decade plus. I'm talking about Onisi on here. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a Michael Jackson kind of thing, right? But with uh, YouTube? <laughs> well, I mean, Michael Jackson, that was much younger. Uh, we're talking the, about, yeah, like... That's just uh, weird. That was just more weird. Though, yeah. Uh, I mean, we're talking their about parents teenagers. parents allowed their kids to stay over at Okay, Michael's is house. that, like, any difference than what's his name? Well, there's... R. Kelly? Well, there's no, is it R. It's Kelly? like an Wait, R. Kelly that, thing. Yeah, but, yes, this is like an R. Kelly But that girl admitted thing. that she wanted to be peed on by R. Kelly. But she's underage, so she... Yeah, but she also... She can't give consent. Oh, she can't give consent, but... No, but you can't pee on me. So what, what I, uh, <laughs> I've done a little research on this on stuff. She has early fetish. She should pee on me. <laughs> I've done a little research on this and Nisian guy and uh, the what the grooming is is like he'll have be in contact with them since they're like twelve or thirteen, and then if they show any interest like around fifteen or whatever, if there's any kind of way, he'll get them to move in with them, and then uh, like basically. They say they have, they don't have sex, and but as soon as they turn eighteen, I guess they have sex. So, <coughs> no, that like kind of like initiation. Well, shit. Or it's or just what? like no, it's just well, that's they, what they call grooming. As soon as they <coughs> turn eighteen, they get started admitting to having sex with them, even though they probably been having sex with them since. I mean, that's but even disgusting. what I've seen, the that's girls, the girls say that that they're not having sex either, and they're, and they're coming out against him. So, if they were having sex before eighteen, I think they would say so. Yeah. See, uh, your innocent. Mom and dad? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. Mm. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I just really like somebody. If you're emancipated, <coughs> you can. You know what? Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I think mm -hmm. that's part of what they were doing. They were like ado kidding. adopting her and then having sex with her. Mm -hmm. So that isn't that some kind of incest? That's some bullshit. No, that's dirty. incest is like same I mean, blood, it's, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's it not matter. blood. But what do you call that then? Dirty. I call it a really weird porn house. Now listen, he waits <laughs> till the age of consent. So I mean, to me, it's a it's a legal thing here. That's that's what I'm suggesting. Here. It is legal. It, yeah. But it's uh not necessarily moral. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Probably I mean, uh, it's not an a, uh, a crime to be an asshole. That's you know all I'm saying. Well, they're no. not a dirty asshole anyway. Yeah. Huh? A dirty asshole. Mm. Yeah. I don't understand how you how you do that. How you have that mindset to do that. <clears throat> Like, I just don't get, like, you sit there, you groom them, 
And then at 18, you're like, yes, I'm going to hit this shit and kick her ass out. I mean, is it gr- that seems, seems like a word you use to villainize somebody. Because to me, it's just a friendship. That's all it is. Yeah, it's they're a, underage. Oh Certainly, wait, wait, they're wait. underage. It's a friendship. That's all it is. When you call it grooming, How that's is, you're twisting it to villainize a person. How old is this dude anyway? Yeah. Uh, he's 34 yeah. now. Um, he shouldn't have any contact I know, you know, with you know, well, I thought that dude shit. was younger. I, I don't, thought uh, he was younger. When I, I, I think it was his uh, his wife who became a man who, who had... Uh, 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 conversations with the twelve-year-old uh, that that uh, she was being accused of. So, not him, but uh, it doesn't uh, matter. They're partners in crime. True. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so. no, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. She's. Was what are they talking about? Uh, what I don't would know. Would a twelve-year-old be talk talking? About sex, whether it was uh, somebody, Let's somebody had suggested. She sent revealing photographs. Now I didn't see them, so I don't know. So, but so this wife turned husband uh, sent uh, revealing photographs of himself uh, to a twelve-year-old. That's what they're saying. But I haven't seen these photographs, so I, I don't know what they look like. So. <laughs> but you would think, <laughs> you would think if there was photos, you would think like. <laughs> There'd be mm-hmm. some sort of real hard evidence of yeah. this. Yeah, uh, but you know, but look at it. Like my bullshit. Look at it this way: they've not been arrested, they've not been charged or convicted uh, of a crime, and I, I mean, so uh, so are they guilty of something? If they were, if there was some hardcore evidence here, certainly they would be arrested, and they have not. They've they've not been arrested. There's How no charges. How long did it take him to arrest R. Kelly? I don't know. That took a Years, long time. I'm guessing. So if uh, if he does get arrested and his uh, channel stops because he's in jail, yep. would you? Uh, would you still be uh, making the videos for him? Or? I I would say he, he was definitely railroaded. He oh was uh, framed. I would say. You know, uh, you know, you remind me of right yeah, now that yeah. one dude. Remember when that whole thing with Britney Spears and that dude was like, "Leave Britney alone." Remember that guy? Oh on yes, YouTube? yes. That's I, what you're starting to sound like. Uh, starting to sound like that guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, recall his name. Oh, he freaking out. Yeah, yeah. Remember? Remember? I don't, know his, I don't remember his name. I don't remember his name either. But he was. It was a hit. Uh. Mm. That's why I was like, dude, you're reminding me of an old YouTube video so from like years ago. We were watching, me and mom were watching TV, and it came on um, R. Kelly, the second part. And it showed all the women on there that they were getting backlash, they were getting um, threats on their lives because they spoke out against him, blah, 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 on and on. So, he's still dirty. R. Kelly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he get arrested? Is he uh, in prison? Uh, he should there... be that dumb bitch. I mean, Didn't I he, uh, thought he was. I thought, I he, thought was. Uh, he had that interview. I remember watching like an interview, dude, and he like fucking broke down. Yeah, with yeah, Gail, Gail, whatever her name was. Yeah, 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 that, he, lady. He's, a, he's a liar. He's a dirt. But you know what? I was telling, like, I was telling my mom, I said, he was bad, but every person that came in contact <laughs> saw. You can't tell me that there was not one person or two people, three people that knew that what was going on. So there, to me, they're guilty as well. So R. Kelly was arrested on July 11th of 2019 mm-hmm. for kidnapping and forced labor and child pornography. All right. Yeah. So, uh, so he has not gone, gone through the court process at this point? Probably or? not uh, fully. Oh, all right. I Something see. like that's going to take a while because he has too many charges to go through. Yeah, yeah too many uh, victims, and uh, he's, got, he's got enough money. He can hire a lawyer to drag it out. Hmm. I heard he was running out of money. Well, because he can't do any more. Uh, a lot of people pulled his shit and uh. weren't letting him. Letting him put on shows in uh-huh. the, in no the area. area. That shit. Just like that whole thing with... Uh, Louis C.K. and uh, <coughs> Aziz Ansari, that whole fucking thing. Like, I didn't nobody, hear about that. What, what well, about it was that? A, long, a while ago, but Louis C.K., I guess the whole thing about it was uh, <clears throat> there was a female in his room, and someone, uh, I guess he was like, uh, you want to watch me jerk off? And yep. she's like, no, okay, well, bye. But uh, I guess <coughs> that... She voluntarily said no, but he said something, and another woman said yes, and he did it in front of her, but it was voluntarily like a... Basically, what I read and heard was that it was two two chicks that that he invited up to his room, they went to his room, then he... uh, he said, hey, do you guys mind if I pull it mm-hmm. out and jerk off? Oh, and, God. And they basically just, like, started laughing. They didn't say no, so he just pulled it out and started jerking off. And uh, and then, so, 
uh, years or months later, they start complaining about it and oh, wow. me too and him and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I've I'm done like, that countless times. <laughs> oh my but God. I, I mean, we're already in the throes of passion before I start doing that. So, I mean, to me, that's permission because we're already engaged. Yeah, sexually. but it's kind of hard, though, to <laughs> determine because he's like a really dirty comedian. Yeah. So saying something like that, you would just think right off the bat it's a joke. It totally yeah. Works. Well, that, well, it's a well situation. but you know... Go up there. Yeah, I mean, he has permission from and what I get. If someone says I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull myself out and do that, I'll be like, bitch, let me go home. <laughs> Why did they sit there and watch to completion and then complain later? Why not get up and leave? Uh, you know, Midway that is true. Uh, you got a point. Yeah, you got a point. <clears throat> yeah, and the thing I mean, with, they're adults. We're talking yeah, about. They yeah, they are adults. Grown women, but the thing with the Aziz Ansari it was just like some anonymous post on the internet. That's that, what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he actually acknowledged, but he said, I, "I don't think I did anything wrong," and I can't see him doing anything wrong either. And why would he just put it up anonymous unless you're just trying to trash him? So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know how to avoid all that. Just uninvited my chair room. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I, listen, if I'm in his position, I'm inviting multiple women up to my room. I have to, yeah, to fulfill my time. manly needs. I have to do it. Yeah. Make sure you get permission, okay? Well, he got permission. It didn't help him, you know. He doesn't remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the head work said uh, Adriana walked away as if nothing happened. Who's Adriana? Who are we talking about here? She was Is that the thing? Louis C.K. thing? Oh. Yeah, the Louis C.K. Oh, all right. That's the, yeah, but the, see, that's what the problem though. Like, like, uh, like it's just crazy how how easy it is to destroy somebody. But then Harvey Weinstein, dude, just, just got away with like almost oh, for every, decades, e e almost every possible conviction in the book that you can ever think of. You know what I mean? Well, not like oh, I'm just talking about of any sexual assault. It's, it's just fucking nuts. I just watched the documentary series on uh, Roger Ailes. Mm -hmm. He was doing even worse shit than uh, Harvey Weinstein. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, it was, like, I I think it was, like, Harvey it was like, like shit. a different time. You know, a lot of... Well, think about it. Back in the day, as, as time has gone by, like in the 60s, Harassment of workers and female workers. Yeah, and all have you that ever was. seen Mad Men? Uh, harassment. Like I did. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, but <laughs> harassment's I, amateur hour. To no, fucking but you know what I mean. Scene, it's like that's what I'm saying. It evolves. I mean, we're at the point where you can't say shit to nobody at work. Mm -mm. You look at me and say something wrong about my shirt. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, they're harassing me. Yeah, it's a pushback. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta stand on you know? your shirt. Ah, he's harassing me. Ah. I think it's been getting pushed a little bit too far. It's an overcorrection, it mm -hmm. seems like. Everything's an overcorrection. Yeah, until, Everything until it swings is an back over, and then... You, it's never going to be... And no one's ever going to be happy either which way or the other, but now it's less acceptable to be harassed, I guess. Now that people are speaking out more. Yeah, and a lot of the guys that are uh, getting caught, like Weinstein and uh, he's dead, isn't he? R. Kelly, no, dead. He's not no. no, Ailes. No, Roger uh, Ailes is no, dead. No, who was that guy that died? They had uh, info on on all those uh, fucking sexual predators. Epstein. Oh, Epstein. Yeah, Epstein. Yeah, Epstein. So what's dead. the guy who we're talking about? Weinstein. Weinstein. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. Dude, he was uh, he was the uh, he was the, the one time. that likes to jerk off in plants. No, and uh, he was one hell? of the biggest, what, agents? Uh, not agents, uh, sorry. Like uh, uh, producers, producers in Hollywood. in Hollywood yeah. at the time. Biggest like, one. If he, if he wanted to squash yeah. one of your projects, he could do it easily. Well, not only that, you ever seen a movie, and the big, before the movie starts, it says Weinstein Productions or anything? Warner like Brothers. No. He's the one that uh, squashed uh, Boondock Saints from going out to, like, the big screens. The big screen, because he, yeah. he was afraid of it. And he should be no, because, because the dude was a, making it was a total asshole, <laughs> so he finally just like uh, squashed it. Still, but it still became a cult classic. Yeah, and yeah, it's an awesome oh, movie. I know who you're talking about. Is, is he the bald guy? Epstein? No, Epstein. Epstein went to jail. No, okay. And got murdered in jail. Okay, no, no. the other one. I think he committed suicide. No, he did not commit suicide. He either, he either hung himself. The fucker suicide. got murdered, dude. The official you don't just go to word jail. is he hung himself. Yeah, you don't go to jail, <clears throat> and then within a week, dude, you get you just like, eh, I'm going to hang well, myself. I no, heard they, they had two cameras on him, but the, but the cameras uh, malfunctioned. Yeah, yeah, come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, come on, on, come on. Yeah. And then what, they magically worked? Oh, look, he's just hanging himself. <laughs> yeah. A minute ago, he was asleep with a thumb in his mouth. Dude, the Wi-Fi <laughs> went out and we got to reboot shit. Yeah, he fucking, he got fucking, he got killed. 
Yeah. Well, well, that's what happens. Maybe we'll find out someday. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you have hey, all the Hey, what's that other guy that they're still looking for? <laughs> Who? He's buried somewhere. Uh, Hoffa? Jimmy Hoffa? Jimmy Hoffa. Really? Uh, I Where just watched that out. Netflix movie that, that included yeah, the uh, Al Pacino playing yeah. him. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, On Netflix? What's Jimmy it called? Jimmy Hoffa. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the Irishman. The Irishman. There you oh, go. Oh, yeah, I did see that movie. And then, I mean, in that movie, Robert De Niro's character uh, k- uh, took him to a house and uh, shot him and killed him. <laughs> and, yeah, disposed oh, of him. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. But, uh, you know, well, I don't... What, who was that guy? R- Rivera? Geraldo? Geraldo? What did he do? Yeah, what happened with him? He tried to look for um, that guy's grave. Okay. Uh, Give me a half one. Good luck. I thought he opened a safe or so. Or a it was a tomb. Oh, all right. That dude's been missing for decades. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yep. Nobody can explain it. Yeah. So no one's ever going to find him. <clears throat> the pig ate his ass. But isn't that trip how there are killers out there that are very well, like, Verse and how to how to really dispose of a body. You guys ever the seen like the Ice Man? Ah, uh, yes, the documentary. Yes, yeah. I've seen it. No, yeah. uh, it's Watch like it. a mob hitman dude that would just. He was uh, one of the best. Yeah, he. What's it on? He did dozens of murders. Netflix. Uh, there's like it was. documentaries. It was there's a movie it about it. There's a. For a minute. And what's it called? The Ice, the Ice Man, Man. something. Uh, no, that's he, what it's called. It's, oh, it's called right. the Ice Man. Yeah, he uh, would take people to uh, to some cave mm-hmm. and tie them up and, and uh, film the the victim uh, yeah. uh, having rats eat them to, to death. To death. Yep. He used to use cyanide on people. Yep. Uh, that's what how he got hell? caught trying to buy cyanide. And then he well, did a sting yeah. operation because he was trying to buy it. He ran out of cyanide. <laughs> He should have had Amazon Plus. Oh but yeah. my God. Should have Amazon here. They would have never found him. All the Baba. You see a truck pull up to a cave, a dude waiting the whole time. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Did you see? I think it was in Stockton or Sacramento. Sacramento. Um, it was a, a fast food restaurant. They opened up in the morning, and there was two pallets of Amazon packages. It shows on their camera. It shows this big yellow truck pull up. It goes out of sight. The thing pulls away, and next morning there's two pallets of Amazon packages. Outside? Mm-hmm. Just random people's <coughs> packages? Yep. They were still on the pallet, shrink-wrapped. I would have pulled my car up and just... <laughs> when, uh, <coughs> when was this? A couple of days ago. Okay, so it was after Christmas. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah I would have filled my cars up, too. I would have yeah. felt bad if it was before Christmas because <laughs> <laughs> it might have been some kid's present. It was somebody's present. I think I would have probably took a couple presents. What about you? Me? Uh, I well, I don't steal. Uh, I, I mean, I seem like the guy who the type of the person <laughs> who would steal certainly, but uh, like I would not. Only steal. women's hearts, huh? M- maybe. Yeah. I was speaking of which, uh, as soon as I get my car back uh, from the garage, I'm going to fornicate with the 73 year old. Oh, That's on God. the bucket list. I mean, I mean, uh, sixty-two is the the record uh, for uh, you know in terms of age. And now I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna move the goal uh, the goal post uh, to seventy-three. I got one on the hook. Uh, Where'd you meet her? On Badoo, the the app. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, she wants to do oral and uh, and all that jazz. So uh, how's she and, look? Uh, like a, like a 73. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's got like short gray hair. Uh, I, she sounds youthful. I have talked to her on the phone. She does sound youthful. So, I mean, she's not senile. It's, it's not like you're talking to uh, your great grandma or something. Yeah, like, it is. Wait, <laughs> but, so, yeah. So What's is her this name? Website, yeah. Is this website like dedicated to hefties and... Uh, no, it's just a dating website. Yeah. That's free, Like, I like think. anything oh, okay. else, I mean, but, like, uh, it, it's a lot more difficult to get the, the in-shape uh, fit uh, ladies. I mean, because everybody's vying for their attention. So I go for the uh, t- for the road less traveled no. by, and I go for no. these <laughs> senior citizens and, <laughs> and rotund ladies. And He's going for the early bird specials. specials. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, did good. you meet another yeah. one uh, during the break? What's up? During the couple of weeks we've been gone, did you meet another one? Uh, uh no. But oh, okay. I, I mean, because I don't have my car, but I got several on the line. Uh, the one you were talking to. See, he was talking to a, uh, a hefty rotund gal on Plenty of Fish. Uh, got her phone number. Did not realize I had already been talking to her on Badoo. Uh, the same girl. So 
we were talking to the same girl, him and I. Uh, wow. Yeah. Good so finish. yes. <laughs> but I was. It was uh, under the profile that I made for him. Uh, yeah. So she was like, "Are, are you on Badoo?" I'm like, uh, <laughs> "I think so, but I haven't been on there in a while." <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's funny. It says your last login twenty minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. And we had already go, agreed to go to the movies and oh, uh, shit. all that. So. Oh my god. Those bitches on the uh, POF are crazy. Yeah. And they're annoying. Yeah. That's why I met my girlfriend. POF? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we're right. That's why I met my last two girlfriends. At one point, <laughs> I found POF uh, very, I don't know, different from Tinder. I never did Tinder. I, cause I, I was just like, dude, this is a lot simpler. And it was like, uh, there's different types of women out there. Which one's simpler? Uh, plenty of fish. And Tinder, to me, was just like, it's like, dude, too much attention. Everyone wants attention. Everyone wants attention. Everyone Everybody wants like, attention. No. Of course they but want plan, attention. No, but to me, Plenty of Fish was a bit different. There was actually, like, real, you know, I've talked to a couple uh, back in the day when I when I was separated, and it was just like, huh, this is a lot different. The conversation I had was a lot different than Tinder. Tinder was like, hey, you want to come pick me up? We can get something to eat. And I'm like, mm, no. Because there are hoes on there. No, no, no. <laughs> I can't get nobody on Tinder. Like, like I've gotten a handful of matches in, a, like, over the course of, a, like, years. I've only gotten a handful of matches and, like, only met tw two uh, people on there. So I get very little attention on Tinder. I know that's the most popular one, but, like, I can't score off that one. Even yeah. when I was single, buddy, I never my... tried Tinder. Tinder oh, yeah. just seemed like it was a waste of time. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Nice. You know, my buddy me, uh, is on Tinder, <laughs> and he just keeps getting hit on by uh, trans trans oh well yeah, yeah yeah but now he he's <clears throat> it, i didn't mean for it to have an accidental use for it but he doesn't call them transgenders he calls them because i accidentally i made a joke and now he uses it he <coughs> calls them synthetics and I'm just like, dude, like, that sounds dude, such tell a him slur. Dude, tell him to go and check the settings. He might be in slur. the wrong group. No, 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 <laughs> he's not in the wrong group. Bullshit. It, no, because even, because even Maybe I asked him. Maybe he trans. No, no. It's all the dudes that are uh, under, under females that are, and they, they posted 50% complete vaginas coming in two weeks. And I'm like, dude, coming dude, in two weeks. Dude, some people like that shit, but though. But they're just putting that up there. And he just kept getting hit on and hit on. I'm like, dude, that is so unfair that... What, you don't get that kind of attention on your No, head? no, it's so unfair <laughs> that that's not what you're looking for, but it keeps coming up. Like, you were looking for an actual woman, but a lot of the dudes who are becoming women are showing up on there under women. And that's what he just keeps getting. He keeps getting his old dudes. He's like, it's full of it. And he's, all, he's like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, well, just be nice. I'm like, hey, I'm not... I'm not looking forward to the. I'm not looking into this. You know, sorry. He's all, I do, and they just keep coming at me and coming at me. There's a lot of ass. bullshit on there. I know. I, this chick came on there. I met through her, and she contacted me, and we talked and texted a little bit, whatever, just filling it out, calling her on the phone, and she's like, "Can I come and see you?" And I'm like, "Bitch, I don't know you. I ain't giving you any information of where I'm at." She goes to having one kid. Next thing you know, she's got seven kids, and she's got she's a great girl. She's I'm like, and how old are you? She's like five. Mm, she's <laughs> like, oh, I'm 38. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, when you start having kids, I'm like, nah, that sounds too, like too much drama. I'm Not only to, that, you're already a grandma. I know. I'm trying. Uh, no. <laughs> fuck I was like, that. Seven I'm kids and a grandma. I'm gonna pass on that shit. I want pass. That's that's baby's kids right there. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I couldn't do it. I was like, no. I, I was, a lot of chicks were like, you know, I have, I have what I have. And it's like, and not to be rude, but it's like, I don't want to take on any more people's kind of baggage, drama kind of Extras, shit. yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you got to be trying to hustle as yeah. much as me. <laughs> because I can't take care of both of us. Yeah. So, mm -mm, there was too many of... Too many fake people on there for me. Except when then I found my girlfriend. Yeah, there's a lot of crazies on there. There was this one. She said, uh, like, under the questions, do you want kids? And it says, I prefer not to say. But then she said something about going, having a season pass to Disneyland. So I'm like, she must have kids. So I'm like, uh, how old are your kids? And then she, she didn't answer back for a while. But then she finally answered back, and she's all old enough. I'm like, <laughs> 
Why? What are you trying to hide? Do you not take them out in public? No, Do people I not know. know that you have kids? It's ridiculous. Excuse me, miss. Uh, your kid is uh, tearing down all the towels. That's not my kid. What the fuck are you talking about? Go get your brother. <laughs> I don't understand that. I mean, it's like, I prefer not to say. How? Just say. What's it ask if you want children? Yeah, it says, do you want children? Want or have. Yeah. Do you want so, or have children? I think it's both. It says, do you have or want children? And then she just, pre- I prefer not to say. I'm like. That's a fucking red flag already. If, yeah. I mean, that's deceptive. <coughs> and, and yeah. Right off the bat. And then, <laughs> you're kind of weird if you don't have kids and you have a season pass to Disneyland. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know a guy who's a Disney fan. Like, he's hardcore. He has no kids. It's just weird to me. It's like, dude, you're fucking 33 years old. And you have every fucking... He still has Disney movies on VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, like, duplicates. And I was like, dude, this is too fucking nice, bro. I watch... Uh, I got Disney Plus. I watch... That's I mean, I got though. no kids. It, I, you know, you I don't have that. to have kids. I, I get that you don't have to have kids, but I don't yep. know. Something about a grown-ass man being, like, addicted to fucking Mickey Mouse shit. Hmm. And Disney puts out, like, grown-up movies, too. So. And, uh, well, now that they've done a lot how, of Let me ask you a question. Companies. How long do you play your video games? Me? I don't play as much as I used to. It anymore. doesn't matter. That's not what I asked you. <laughs> how long? Maybe an hour, maybe two at the most. A day? No. That's the same thing. People can a say, day, no. the same. Per- you know, they can say they don't spend that much time playing video games. There's other people that do. 